Driver of the number 33 Bit Nile Chevy for Ed Carpenter Racing. Starting on the inside of row number five, it's Ed Carpenter. Woo! How you doing, man? Doing fantastic. How are you? Good. You won back-to-back polls in 2013 and 2014. What's it like leading the pack to start line on race day? Uh, it's the best place to be. I mean, it's it's the most comfortable up front. You can kind of dictate the pace at the start, so long as you get a good one. Um, don't have to deal with all the turbulent air. So the the first time you experience it, I would say it's a little nerve wracking just because there's there's pressure that comes with it. But it's it's by far the easiest place to start the race from. We've been setting records like crazy at the track this year. What's it like to go that fast? I mean, most of us will never get to go that fast. Uh, it's fun, first and foremost. I mean, when I saw 235-mile-an-hour laps pop up at Sunday in qualifying, I was extremely jealous. It's it's a threshold that I haven't gotten to yet and hope to eventually. Um, but it's it's a ton of fun. It, it doesn't, you know, it feels fast, obviously, but it's what we love to do. So it just feels fun and in a weird way kind of normal. You know, we, we get so used and accustomed to the speeds um, that it, it, you just get a smile on your face when you see big numbers pop up on our dash. So I know like when we go on long road trips or driving in stressful situations, the first minute you get out of the car, you feel kind of funky. So for someone who's doing a race like the Indy 500, what does it feel like when you first get to step out of the driver's seat after the race is done? Uh, I mean, after the race, you're, you're pretty exhausted. You know, it's a, it's a physically draining experience. Uh, but more so mentally, you know, you're just, you're, you're very mentally tired um, and, and just feel empty just from the effort that, that goes into it. But it's very, very hot on the cars nowadays. Um, so yeah, just pure exhaustion. I think one of the reasons you're a fan favorite is because you're like a lot of us out there. You've been gro- going to the track since you were young this will be your 20th attempt, and this will actually be my 20th race attending. So I think you and I have our own little streak. We need to continue. Yeah, let's keep it going. <laughs> and as a Butler grad, what's it like being close personal friends with Blue the Butler Bulldog? Uh, I mean, yeah, proud proud Butler alum, and, you know, I've been very lucky to, to be friends with, with all the Blues and Trips and, and Michael and Evan that, that look after the dogs. So it's it's a lot of fun to have that connection, you know, in, in the community and, and from, from the school and, and vice versa. So, um, you know, it's, I'm proud of, proud of my education there and, you know, proud to be a part of that community, proud to have a chance to kind of represent them in my way and, you know, just be a part of it. And who doesn't, who doesn't love being around a dog? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I mean, he he's even has his own little car he drives around. I saw it when we were out there this past week. Yeah. He's our honorary fourth, fourth entry he's got a ecr logo yeah. on that thing so great yeah, he's so, our he's our li- li- more unknown fourth driver <laughs> so when you win this thing on sunday what milk are you going with uh whole milk is the selection you know a, a lot of us try to write in buttermilk every year because that was the where the tradition started with louis meyer but evidently they say that the buttermilk of today is not the same as the buttermilk of the past and <laughs> That's why they don't provide it. But whole milk seems like the closest, most full option, you know, to, to the tr- original tradition. So we've been asking listeners all this week to give us their best indie car sounds to win their way into the track. So do you think you can give us your best impersonation of an indie car? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I don't have a good voice for that. And it, and it probably sounds much different from my perspective than than the outside. That is true. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I'm sure that's provided some good humor all week. <laughs> <laughs> They've been pretty good. Well, we uh, are super excited that you were able to join us, and we will be cheering for you hard on Sunday. Sounds good. Thanks for having me.